All right, guys, how we doing? Quick little uh, tutorial here for the basics. If you're just starting out in, in uh, Adobe Illustrator and you're using my templates, and if you're running into this issue, I understand um, Adobe Illustrator is um, it's pretty intimidating, especially if you're just starting off. So this is a super quick, easy, basic um, thing. All right, so if you want to apply um, the pattern fill to these, right? If you select the templates, drag and click and you have it selected and you look right here and you see how it's black on that right there. And it's showing you it's black on the stroke. Then you do it again and it's red. You see how it's red right here, the left hand side tool panel. Also, um, depending on how you have your setups for, um, how your, um, Adobe Illustrator set up up here at the top. If you just want to kind of copy what I have, it's what I'd recommend if you're starting off and you can play with it. Um, up here at the top, put it on layout, click it, put it on layout, and it'll open up with new panels. And here I have Pathfinder, Artboard, and Layers, the top. Character, um, graphic styles, appearance, and stroke. And then down here, I have the color, the swatches, the gradient, brushes, and library. That's what I have. And in order to get these to open up, if you go to the top and you click window, this will pop up. And this is where you can um, select, you know, which tool panels and stuff you want. So if you want like the uh, the swatches panel right there, just click it and it'll just pop up in this area. You can drag it into the toolbar here. So anyways, when you purchase the Glock templates bundle, um, what makes, you know, these, these, uh, templates pretty cool and really, you know, different than just like a vectorized image, whatever <laughs> of a template is they're editable. So the first thing you can do is you can edit the nodes like these right here you can pull those around. And so what that does is usually, um, in the situation that one of my customers is in here, you can't figure out how to apply the template to or the pattern he wants to the template because when he clicks it it does just the outline and you get that like oh no pretty sure that's what, what's happening for you when you go down here and you want to click on one of the patterns and it applies to just a stroke well what you want to make sure is if you want to do a if you want to do a fill you click go back over here this area I'm trying to circle um, you want to click on the fill box and you see how it brings it in front. Okay. Now, if you were to just to do a color, you select black and you see how it turned black and you still have the red stroke, which is right there. Okay. And so now that you have the stroke fill, this box on top, that's brought out front and the uh the red is in the back i'll reset it to um what it is when you open the file so you have like a black stroke and that's where it's at and you see how that line is in the box that means there's nothing in the fill okay so with this selected because if you click on it whatever one you click on will bring to the front so if i want to click the uh stroke you know and then that'll let me edit the stroke colors and and all that stuff. I'll make that a little bit bigger. Okay. And so with that, I want to edit the fill. So I click on the empty, the white box, the red line, make sure that's up front and then go to swatches. And then, um, you know, pick the one you want. And so you just click like that's the swatch has my logo on it. And so that's how you do that. And yeah, that's how you, you, I think that's what he was, uh, running into for the issue. And then also you can remember that you can edit the strokes. So you want to click on the stroke, make sure it's up front so you can edit it. There you go. I'm seeing, I just did it. So always make sure if you want to edit the fill, just make sure this fill box right here is on is selected and up front. And yeah, 
that's it. And I hope everybody, hope that that works for you guys. And remember, if you get my patterns too, um, the cool thing that comes with it is you, it's editable. So I got like that pattern. So you can get it and then you can edit it how you want. And yeah, hopefully that helps. And thanks to everybody who's purchased from my store. Anybody has any questions or wants to know how to do something, you know, reach out. I don't mind. I can make quick little um, tutorials like this for you guys. No problem. And I hope everybody has a great rest of your weekend.